Hi folks, right here with Creative Craft House, bringing you the Labyrinth box today. This is a new box that some of you might see think looks a little familiar with the Swiss cheese maze. It's a pretty similar concept to that, only in this format it's a locking box as well. So the whole goal of this box is to get this little ball here through the maze over all the pitfalls, well not over them but avoiding all the pitfalls and all the way to this little hole in the, in the front here. And that front has a metal pin on the inside and the ball is actually a magnet. It's held in place there and you just do a little tap and the ball comes out. So you're supposed to make your ball travel through the maze. Let's see if I can get this a little bit. Nope. Once it falls through a pitfall, this hole right here, right below the other one, that's where the ball's going to come out. Just like that. So we'll try that one more time. Got to have a pretty steady hand for this. Anyone who has gotten our Feed the Cat maze or our Feed the Dog maze, any of our ball maze games is going to be very familiar with the feeling and frustration and joy of successfully doing it. <laughs> there we go. Now, once you get the ball down there, the pin is going to be released and it's going to let you slide this piece off of there. There you can see the ball and there you can see the pin. The pin falls into that place there and that's where the ball magnetically pulls up. Once that's out, you can pull this tray out and now you have a really nice sized tray that you can put a deck of cards in, some dice, uh, some trinkets or a small toy even. You can put a little gift in there if you want to do this for a Christmas gift, you can put a gift card in there. Some iPhones will fit. The iPhone XS Max will not, but some of the smaller ones, especially the newer ones, those might fit as well. But that's just to give you a little idea of what, what can actually fit in there. This little plexiglass piece is what keeps that ball in place and lets it fall out of that hole. So one little trick too that adds this box, if you're not wanting to repeatedly have to attempt to get the maze open, say if you're trying to just put something in here for a gift for someone. Keep this trick to yourself when you give it to the person, but you can always tell them afterwards if you really want to. We call it the wizard's trick because we have the little wizard guy right here. So if you just turn the box over on its backside, you just give it a few taps and that little pin should come out of place there. It's similar to our cash out if you've ever used that or played around with that. But that's just a little trick to get it out, so you, like I said, so you don't have to repeatedly attempt to open up the maze to get it into work if you're having some trouble with that. But that's our labyrinth box. Comes in a really nice wooden finish. And we hope you enjoy. Have a great one.